So we're talking about, you know, building all this futuristic tech, but we still have combats. We still have a disagreement on how we're going to populate um, extraterrestrial bodies and do long duration space flight. Um, the way I look at it with space copy is we're building something that's going to be versatile over generations. We're always going to need to repair things. There's always going to be remote ecosystems, whether that's on Earth or off planet. Um, and when we get to the point of being able to really have humans doing long duration space flight missions, we have to be conscious of the astrobiology component in this as well. Um, and right now we're finalists for the, the Bohr Young's Human in Space Challenge. And what we're pioneering with that is being able to 3D print a moisture wicking and radiation resistant textile that could be used as insulation for habitation and space suits. So we look at space copying. We're not just putting your, your nuts and bolts and your, your sock wrenches and that, but we're creating things that are going to have a long lasting impact on the way that we expand the way that we work in austere climates. So in a broad answer to your question, I see that the way that the tech is developing currently and the way that we've developed over the last hundred years, and I can see that we're going to boom in that direction. We need to be careful how we do it. We need to be methodical and thoughtful of that. And then moreover at Space Copy, we just need to make sure that we're keeping up with the times and that we're validating the tech and getting out into those ecosystems because we know we have the use case. 